Welcome to Champlain Park High School for the Section 5 3A Volleyball Tournament, our second semifinal tonight. The number three seed, Osio, and the number two seed, Wyzetta. I'm Jay Wilcox, along with Benil St. Margaret's coach, Fong Long, and uh, boy, these teams pretty evenly matched. You look at the records, they played a uh, four-setter during the regular season with Wyzetta coming out on top. And one more similarity is that both these teams had a little bit of down seasons last year, but really bouncing back in a big way to get to where their programs normally are. They certainly have done a nice job of re uh, re rebuilding and retooling this year and to have a very successful season here. Wyzetta's just sitting outside the top 10 of, D uh, of the Class 3A here. Um, and who would have thunk that after last year's um, you know win-loss record that Wyzetta had. But Coach Scott Jackson's done a great job of retooling this team and uh, they're not just a one-hit wonder for this year though they're loaded for even next year as well too but yeah both these teams are very evenly matched I expect a great match tonight yeah really strong regular seasons for both clubs maybe perhaps even more so than both of the coaches thought they would see coming in. I mean, I think they expected improvement, but they have been even sharper than they expected. Yeah, I think if you talk to both coaches, they'll both really admit that they, they probably have exceeded some of the expectations this year. It doesn't mean that they weren't striving for this, but they certainly have exceeded some of the expectations given last year's performance and, uh, and the record they had. But I think that uh, progression has just been accelerated so much more this year, and they've done a, both done a great job. Let's take a look at uh, key players in tonight's contest. And really a lot of weapons on each team, and we'll touch on that more in a moment. But uh, we're going to talk about a couple of them, obviously. Emily Rossing for Osseo has been really getting some things done in the middle, and she actually led their team in kills against YZ the first time. Yeah, she's a force in that middle, presents a tall presence there, and uh, reads the block really well, leads them in blocks as well, too. I think she also leads them in, in the hitting percentage as well, too, hitting well over 300 for the season. I think it's 375, as a matter of fact, and has probably about 120, 150 kills already. Um, you know, it's she's had a really good season. And for Wyzetta, we're going to talk about one of those talented up-and-comers, a 6'3 sophomore who leads your team in digs and aces. Not too bad. Sophie Jesuits is having a great year and has great potential for this team. Yeah, not only she's leading uh, in digs and aces, she's also one of the top hitters as well, too. Uh, she definitely is on the radar of many uh, colleges, as well as, frankly, high school coaches who have to game plan against her. We played her twice, and she was definitely a big factor in the outcome that, you know, that they beat us in both times here. Um, you know, she presents a tall, tall presence on that left side here, and uh, she's just starting to scratch the surface of her potential here. Similarities, we said, uh, a lot of potential, a lot of weapons on both of these teams. There isn't necessarily somebody that you're going to see them go to play in and play out, but there are a lot of different players that can get it done. There are a lot of good size. Wyzetta's a little younger, Osseo maybe a little bit more experienced at the varsity level. Yeah, they are, but I think that, like you said, both play, both teams have so much fire, firepower here that if a player's having an off night, they certainly have other options they can go to, and uh, they're good enough that they can go and, and diversify um, in how they attack the offense there. The winner gets Champlin Park. I don't know if that's a reward or a uh, downfall, but the championship match awaiting on Thursday night. The top-seeded Rebels are awful good, but the winner of this one will give them a shot in that Section 5 title match. It's the Orioles and the Trojans. It comes your way next here on CCX Sports. Local Vote 2018 focuses on the candidates that make key decisions close to home. As you decide how to vote for people who will represent you on your city council, on your school board, and in the state legislature, hear from the candidates themselves first. Whether it's a candidate statement on CCX News, local political forum, or election night coverage, you can find it all on CCX Media and ccxmedia.org. Oh yeah, yes! So much fun! 
And welcome back here to Champlin Park High School. Uh, as expected, a lively crowd for this one, the second semifinal. Uh, Champlin Park dispatching of Rogers in the first match tonight. And then these two teams getting set to, uh, to battle it out. They didn't meet last year in the playoffs, but the previous two seasons they had met in this semifinal round. And, and uh, Wyzetta winning in both of those occasions. And uh, it was a little bit interesting talking to Mandy Burry and the Osseo head coach, and uh, she flat out said that we didn't play very well against Wyzetta in that uh, regular season match, and she thinks, you know, if they come out and play the kind of match uh, that they've been playing all season long, they have a pretty good chance to win this one. Yeah, absolutely. She said that, you know, that's one of the losses. They had six losses on the year. Three were in Champion Park, and the other one of them was to Wyzetta, and she said that's the one loss that, sti that stings a lot. But, you know, she's also very positive about the fact that uh, they didn't play very well, but yet it was a, still a 1-3 a, you know, match and a very competitive match. And I, they th she thinks if they just play their game tonight and, uh, you know, uh, they're going to be much more competitive today. And, the, uh, and she likes the outcome of it. Yeah, the lowest score that the uh, losing team had in any set of that one was 19. So it was pretty much in the 20s throughout the night in that uh, first meeting during the season. It'll be interesting to see how nerves come out too. You're in a, you know, a little bit of a gym that you're not used to being in. You've got a, a lot of space behind the court. I think we sometimes see some some uh, extra adrenaline on some early serves and things like that. And obviously you want to kind of cut down on those kind of mistakes, but at the same time, it's a little bit understandable if you do see a little bit of that. Yeah, and don't forget also the the pressure of just being sectional play. They're in the semis here. They get a chance to play Champlain Park. They win here. and. Uh, you know, everything's more heightened at this time of year. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be interesting to see, like you said, to see if they can respond to that in a, uh, in a mental way here. Well, we said these teams, uh, the two and three seeds, and really haven't seen upsets in this section to speak of. Maybe slight with Rogers beating St. Michael. That one probably, uh, you know, possibly a slight surprise, at least by seeding. And you see these two teams each had sweeps in their quarterfinal round matches and Champlain Park taken care of first part center and then Rogers and I don't think there's anybody on either of these teams even that wouldn't admit that Champlain Park's the overwhelming favorite in this section but you get there you get a chance and that's what all, that's what you're hoping for uh, when you get to this point in the season that's exactly what it, any team hopes for at this point and you know, but first they got to take care of business tonight and these two teams are so evenly matched right now, and uh, this is going to be a very fun match. I'm really looking forward to it, and, and uh, frankly, I'm going to prepare myself for a five-setter. Wyzetta, you kind of look through their lineup, and they're you know rostering like three freshmen and a couple of sophomores, and really a lot of juniors as well. I mean, it's uh, definitely a, a team to watch in the coming years as well, as Fong said in the pregame. And Osseo a little bit kind of maybe more traditional with mostly juniors and seniors in their lineup for tonight. Riley Steister, the sophomore, will get uh, plenty of playing time for them as well. So we are getting ready to go. Olivia Johnson will serve to start it out for Wyzetta. And here we go in set number one, semifinals in section five. Osseo will go to the middle and the tip misfired by Kate Achenbach. Achenbach was just coming back from an injury when they played by Zeta, she played, but it was, uh, I think, her first or second match back, and so wasn't really at full strength. So she probably will be used more and more effectively tonight, although had a miss hit on her first opportunity. That's right. She had an elbow injury the first time they played, and talked to Coach Mandy. She said that she's back to full strength now, so she'll definitely fit, factor in a uh, bigger role in the game plan tonight. So. Juan digging up the Jesuits hit. Now Kelsey Seelock denied at the net there as the Trojans getting up. Caitlin Empty with the block. You go 6-4, 6-3, 6-2 around their uh, lineup. So here is Johnson serving with a 2-0 lead. Juan will send it over. Trojans come outside. Jesuits cross court. A nice dig by Taylor Kwan. And then that one sprayed too long. And Osseo is the team that's looking a little tight to start it out. It's 3-0 Trojans. Couple hitting errors so far for Osseo. They've made a couple of nice defensive digs to give him a chance, but... 
Johnson a little too long with that serve, so she scores three, though, to start it out, and now Kelsey Seelock will head back to the service line here for the Orioles. Dug up by Kwan on the hit by Helmick. And a strong swing. Lindy Odry, who leads the Orioles in kills, puts that one away. Got just a nice, smooth arm swing, too. Yeah, she really does. Um, uh, shout out so far already to Taylor Quan. I think unofficial, she's already got about four digs here. And uh, you know, you're looking at one of the top liberals in the state here. She just reads the hits so well on the attacks here. A little change of pace from Jesuits there as the block. Not able to time that one well, and it sneaks between them. Four to two lead now. And Jesuits will serve here for Wyzetta. And just batted over here. An opportunity for the Trojans to get into their offense. Kwan digging another one up, though, off Kate Long's hit. And that one too strong. Osio, some early hitting errors. You know, strong, strong attack on that one. Just a little too deep for Achenbach here. Um, it's also going to be interesting to see. Every, every dig that Taylor Kwan's had so far has been a sharp cut here. Let's see if Wyzetta changes it up and tries to do either down that line a little more and away from Kwan. Seelock digging that one up, but it's up into the rafters and they can't recover. Helmick, you were talking about earlier how tough she is. You know, right side hitter, but a lefty. Just don't see a lot of that in somebody as good as her. And, and a lot of teams, it's kind of like that right side is sort of like a, you know, last resort option or you don't go to it much, but not true with Wyzetta. Oh, no, definitely not true with her. She, in fact, she leads them in attack and kills here with 310 kills in the regular season. She's a big, vital part of their offense here. Ogery getting a much needed side out for Osio right there as a roll shot finds an open middle of the court. And so the Orioles will get an opportunity here. Wyzetta, you see, just kind of got shifted out of position a little bit. Let's see if Osio can get Achenbach on track here. I think she's had three swings and they've all been errors here. Let's see if she can get back on track because they're going to definitely need her. Long looking cross court and she hits it. Osio backing off that one and it falls in. And of course, that's where Taylor Kwan normally occupies. She just had to be out there for the, uh, the server there. And so I wonder where that made a difference there. Izzy Anderson serving for Wyzetta. They lead 7-3 early in the first set. And that one put away by Rossing off the block. You, know, you look at Wyzetta, they've got plenty of size, but I think Osio matches up quite well as well here. And there you go, off of a nice little pass there, a one block attack, or off of one blocker. She's gonna win that most of the times there. They come to the middle for Emlong, and Emlong at 6-1, only about the fourth tallest uh, hitter in their lineup. That's uh, that's impressive. You know, Coach Guy Jackson's told me that uh, that this is the tallest team he's had since he's been at Wyzetta, and that says a lot, because he's had some pretty tall teams here, but definitely a very tall team. And Rossing will get the job done. Good effort by Wyzetta, but not able to dig that one up. What and I'm so Audrey will serve. What I'm seeing by both teams, though, they're attacking the middle, but they're only going up against one block, like this one right here. Uh, looks like the right side block was a little late there, but you're, you're going to need to throw two blocks against their, their attackers there in the middle. Rossing that time had it denied. They'll get another shot. Furman, Seelock had to punch it over with the left hand. Juan hustling to get to that one. Seelock tipping around the block, but well covered behind her. And then Long wipes that one off the block and out, and Lizetta will score to go up 9-5. It's a nice scrappy point there. Both teams are very scrappy here. They're going to keep a lot of balls alive. Just a nice dig there, anticipating that little row shot, and then fishing off by Tool in that block on the right side there. remember talking with Osio before the season, and they talked about how much you know they felt improving defensively was the one thing that they really needed to do and could do. You know, that's a, a lot of times a matter of really thinking the game and positioning yourself and hustling even more so than just pure skill. Right, exactly. You know, just being scrappy and energetic is going to make up for a lot of that stuff here. Even when you lack in skills, you can make up for it in effort there. Nice recognition by Jesuits here. Just a little row shot over the, the, the blockers there. Off-speed ball. Avery sees with the serve. 
And that one is too long. Wyzetta looked like they were going to try and play it. Osseo Bench kind of half-heartedly asking for a touch there, but looked like they definitely pulled the hands back in time. So C is a 10th grader and a six-point lead for Wyzetta. Tip to the middle, and that one will drop in. So Osseo just kind of fits and starts trying to get themselves going a little bit. They've they got to sustain a little momentum here. They've had a lot of hitting errors here, and maybe a little off-speed ball can kind of change it up for them here. Rossing back to serve here for the Orioles, trailing it 11-6 in the opening set. Scramble, and Jesuit sends it over, but here's a chance Furman to Steester, and that one is good. She go. goes cross court and hits the line. There we go. Steeser uh, is just a freak athlete. She's strong, and uh, you can certainly see it right here. Just a one block. Again, you know, both these teams have got to the answer for the middle here by throwing more than just one block here. Otherwise, it's going to be a long day. Pass into the net. But a nice job of reading it. Olivia Johnson, uh, Coach Jackson, had a lot of praise for his setter. Said that she's really come a long way and has been the better setter on the court in most of their matches this year. She sure has. And in fact, she's second in the state in assists at this point here. And I think she's got over 800 assists already. And she's definitely a great floor captain for him. And Steester spraying that one too long as they went to the slide. And a timeout requested by Osseo. Good start to the match for Wyzetta. Still a lot to go, obviously, even in this set, but leading at 13 to seven, and they have been certainly more mistake-free than Osseo up to this point. That's right, I think Osseo just needs to take care of the ball a little bit better. They're just a little reckless on their attacks here a little bit, not keeping it in play here, and sometimes, you know, uh, you know, sometimes you gotta just get that ball in play and reset, rely on your defense to get that point. I think they probably have, unofficially, maybe six or seven um, uh, attack errors already by them, and, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're getting chances here. Uh, they just can't finish the execution. And at times they've made their setter Furman have to work quite a bit to get, you know, the passes have been just not quite exactly where she was hoping for, too. So they've got some things to clean up, but uh, still a long way to go. That's right. I, I agree. And I, I expect Osseo will, will shake off. It might be just pregame or just early game jitters here. And uh, you know, their experience, and they'll come back here. M Long to serve it again here for Wyzetta. Cross for Jesuits off the block and good. You know, they're taking advantage right now because they have the short right side blocker there in the center here, and Jesuits is too tall. And they're going to continue going over here, take advantage of that mismatch in height right now. And that served way too long. So Furman will serve here for Osseo. Helmet getting that pass on target. Dug up by Odry. And a smart play there to attack that second ball for Wyzetta is empty. There is no, you know, thought, I don't need to set this ball. I've got a chance to take a swing here. Yeah, first ball. Or, I'm sorry, not empty, but uh, Johnson. Now right now, Wyzetta just looks like they're playing at a little different speed than Wyzetta, than Osseo right now. Everything's faster for Wyzetta and uh, Osseo slow. Steester missing the sideline there. Another hitting error with only against one blocker. Ogery fighting that one off. Now Achenbach off the blocker and good. And they need to get her going a little bit, as Vaughn said. Had kind of a sluggish start. Well, she did a nice job using the blocker's high hands there and, and, and making sure that uh, that ball goes out of, out of play there. Um, yeah, and definitely it's something that she hopes to uh, continue to that momentum for her. Shake off that slow start. Seelock sending that one about five feet long, so. Those are the mistakes that they can't afford when you, you know, you can't trade points when you're down big like this if you're the Orioles. That's right, that's right. You can't, definitely can't give them a, uh, some free points, especially against a very well-disciplined team like Wyzetta here. Quan to Furman, and now Odry hammers it home, and 
more often than not, if you're Osio, you really are comfortable with Taylor Kwan, you know, receiving serve when when possible because you see this pass just nice, soft, right where Furman needed it. Well, I'm Coach Amanda, or Mandy. I'm telling her, you get whatever ball you can get your hands on here, and uh, everyone else get out of the way because you're right. She's such a reliable passer, so skilled. Emily Aaron's in to serve here for Osio. Tough angle for the lefty uh, Helmick to reach for that one. She just kind of had to do what she could to get it over, kind of backhanded almost. You know, the one thing that impresses me uh, uh, the most about Helmick, she's such a smart player. She has such great recognition. She doesn't have to hit the ball hard in order to get a kill. She just knows the types of shots to hit in every situation here. Furman to Rossing, and she will put that one away. Hasn't had a lot of opportunities yet. A couple of nice uh, attacks for Rossing. Part of that isn't coming on how well they're passing here off that service seat here. And uh, if they haven't been in system as much as Coach Mandy wa has wanted them to be in. Maggie Bauer with an ace there for the Orioles. Boy, that one had a lot of downward dive to it. Yeah, it was definitely a big sink on that float serve here. You just watch it and just no spin and all of a sudden just drops. Jesuits, down ball here, Bauer able to fight it off. Now Odry dropping one deep middle. That's a really athletic play by Odry. That's a tough, tough attack ball to hit off that set. That set's coming from all the way in the back row here. She's got to basically turn around here and take that ball down that line. Very athletic. Osseo's to within five. Helmet answers nicely for Wyzetta. And you need to stem the tide here. You go to your ace player here, and that's just great form, great patience on her part and keeping that ball in front of her so she can attack that ball. And that one put away by Odry. Nice little play by Asa. They kind of ran it like an X play there where the right side came through the middle and the middle went to the right, the right side here. Uh, well executed there, just to, just to shake things up a little bit. And the slide works for Emlong that time as Johnson puts it right on target. Wyzetta is first to 20 now. 20 to 14 lead for the Trojans. Yeah, hits it right between the block there. The middle is just a little late to come over there. And uh, Emlong found the, the gap. Seas will serve. That pass too strong. Furman recovers. Seelock, oh, dropped it right into the corner. No, I guess it was out. Yeah, it was a good idea by her part, but just a little wide, I think. Yeah, the, the line judge at back said it was good as far as depth, but it was a little bit wide. Yep. Yeah. Seelock this time will get it done for the Orioles as they're back within 21-15. You know, depending on how the match turns out, they're really going to lament the slow start because it's basically been even since then, but they just got off to such a poor start hitting-wise. They really did, but, you know, even if they go on to lose this game, that's the one that you can take it for your coach. Man, hey, look, we're playing even, so let's go on here, move on, and we're going to, you know, get it the next game here. And there's an ace by Rossing and Osseo. Certainly not out of this first set yet. We don't mean to imply that as they have uh, cut the lead to five. That's right, that's right, and they're still fighting. Rossing's pass too strong and hammered home by Emlong. You know, Wyzetta's just got too tall of a front row. Anything that's tighter and overpass, it's just gonna be an automatic point for him, and uh, you're gonna, they're gonna make you pay for it. You gotta make sure you maintain that ball on your side of the net here. Furman will come outside to Steister. Helmick's pass almost into the net, but there again, the height paying off for the Trojans. First Johnson, and then Empty able to put it away. You know, that play was set up by Johnson. Very smart play on that overpass dig there, and all of a sudden she, she does a setter, uh, a setter dump there, gets him out of system, gets it right back, and allows Empty to finish that point. 
And that pass into the net. Furman trying her best to handle it, but couldn't. And now a set point here for Wyzetta. M Long serves, scraping the net, but it gets over. Now Sealock off the block, and Osseo lives to play on here, 24-17. It's amazing what they can do when they have a nice pass off service here. They can run their offense, and that was exactly one of those situations there. Allow Sealong to, to uh, uh, take advantage of it here. Furman with the serve and a collision there. Wyzetta, neither player heard the other call there. And Helmick running into Anderson. Tough serve there, but Helmick gets it up. Now Jesuits has it denied. Steester getting up for the block. Yeah, both Steester and, and Achenbach did a, formed a really nice wall there. Just pressed that net, knew that was going to come out to Jesuits, but they were definitely ready for that. They'll come back to Jesuits and missed it wide. Osseo's little roll continuing here late in this first set. 24 20, 20 timeout Scott Jackson. One of the things you're seeing here in terms of when the, the points are being made here, it's, it's, it's usually off the service receive. Osseo struggled with service receive at times when it wasn't going to Quan. Looks like YZ is starting to do that as well. To have a few struggles in the last three, four points here, they can't get this serve, uh, pass this uh, serve very well. And frankly, it's resulted in them being a little out of system um, and to Osseo's advantage here. I think this could help Osseo, even if, you know, even if it's too late to win this set, just to build a little confidence and momentum lead in this one might uh, certainly pay dividends you know in the next couple as well definitely it definitely is a, a big momentum in carrying that next set and, and you just tell them hey look we out we outplayed in the last second half of that set there we're going to continue this momentum and let's, let's go after them obviously we've got halloween coming up a few uh, folks a little dressed up not as many as we were at when we've had some of the times this section's been on actual Halloween, and boy, we had all kinds of great costumes in. And that's a tough way for it to end. Furman, a serving error, so Wyzetta will take the first set. They played very well early. Osseo bounced back a little bit, but the Trojans prevail. Our score in the first set, Wyzetta 25 and Osseo 20. We will be back with more of our coverage here of the Section 5 3A Volleyball Semifinals here on CCX. What makes your community feel like home? Is it knowing what's happening in your neighborhood? Or when people know your name? Connections make us a community. For more than 30 years, Northwest Community Television has connected citizens, neighbors, even sports fans through video. You can learn about the latest news through our truly local newscast. We cover and air around 150 high school sporting events every year. For our cities, we air parades and city meetings that you can watch whenever you want. Then, any citizen of our cities can create and share their own original content. We'll even teach you how to use the equipment too. We have always provided you with a connected community experience. And as life gets busier than ever, we will continue to engage, inform, and inspire through CCX Media. So you can stay connected to the place you call home. They told me a bottle couldn't dream. That I would never become a superhero. But I learned how to fly. Just to come back in a new disguise. And be the hero that I've always wanted to be.
was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and kissed them all soundly and put them to bed. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. Champlain Park awaits the winner of this one in the Section 5 Championship. Wyzetta winning the first set 25 to 20. We'll see if uh, that you know, little push at the end by Osseo gives them a little shot in the arm heading into the second one. I don't, it's funny though, you think about how high school players view you know, losing a set or whatever, and sometimes I think they're not probably as nervous about it as we might think they would be or should be even maybe as adults. And, and more, more than most sports, volleyball, this court gets, the, the momentum swings are so wide and so frequent here. And, the way Osteo, even though they didn't win the set, the way they finished that set, though, I think bodes well for them. And, you know, they just, they started hitting better. They started taking care of that ball a little bit better. And uh, I think they resulted in better success for them. Furman will serve to start the second set. Here's Helmick firing away for Wyzetta. And she has been pretty unstoppable when they've gotten the uh, ball to her with a good look at it. And frankly, being a lefty, hitting on the left side is a little different for these, these blockers to look at. They're anticipating that ball to come from a different angle because they're not used to it. And, uh, but, you know, credit her for hitting such, such a great ball there. And how about from the other side? Yeah, Helmick <laughs> firing away. She's definitely uh, 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 firing all cylinders right now, and I expect that she's going to continue to be getting that ball and some more. Right now, they just, Osso doesn't seem to have an answer for him. That middle just isn't coming over fast enough to try to put a hand on it. Steester had that one denied. Sealock will push it over, but not legally. As a coach, you always cringe when the non-setter takes that third ball, that high ball with their hands, and they're just not comfortable, not used to it, frankly, and that's what happened there. Jesuits with a tough serve. We said she leads her club in aces, and we see why right there. Wyzetta kind of picking up where they started at the you know, beginning of the first set, just looking calm and confident. Seelock gets a swing. Wow, Anderson trying to dig that up in a collision near the bench. What I really liked about that was that Taylor Kwan basically just stepped in front of her DS and took that serve receive, if you notice it, just to start it. Obviously, then she registered a really nice pass to get them back in system there. And that pass led to the setter attacking it. As a tough serve. Tight pass there, it resulted in a setter back, back row attack there. Here's Helmick, and that one will go into the Osseo bench. So even hitting off the net without a whole lot of approach there, she still got plenty on that ball and made it a tough one to handle. And like I said, she picks that position. She picks that location as well. She's such a smart player there. She took something off because she knew she couldn't take a full approach, and yet she still got the job done. Furman to Steester. Karam sideways off the block, but they get back in. Nice dig by Furman. And then wiped off the block there as Osseo really needed that point, and they get it. They did, uh, similar to what Helmick did the previous time without much of an approach there, kind of a standing jump, able to utilize off that block there though. Ogery getting that kill for the Orioles. Tough serve there and Jesowitz's pass into the net. Osseo kind of did well later in the, uh, by you know targeting kind of picking on a couple of different players that yeah. they were trying to serve to. Right, I think they're going after Jesuits. That's been the trend here. And at that time, it uh, paid off for him. But look for him to go back to Jesuits again. Sealock digging that one up. Now here's Ogery. 
Jesowitz trying to dig it with one hand, couldn't do it. Five to five, now Osio fighting right back into it. Again, good recognition from Odry. She realized she was ahead of that ball here and couldn't take a full swing. She took something off and just went down that line there. And then a serving error, so Osio not quite able to take the lead. They fought back to tie it, but now Wyzetta up six to five as substitutions coming in. Steester reports back, or excuse me, checks out. Quan coming back in. Helmick to serve. Nice dig by Anderson. And here's Helmick, but too long with that one, so. She's, uh, she's not perfect. She can make a mistake, too. <laughs> she's, she's a human. Great dig on that libero there by Anderson and allowed him a, an opportunity. And just a little deep. Jesuits this time a good pass. And the big swing put away by Emlong as they worked the slide to the outside there. Yeah, they worked it to perfection there. Emlong had a nice transition or approach there. It just hit across uh, the setter. The blocker's kind of overcommitted to the outside there. She just went right back up the middle there. And it gives you something to think about for next time, too. So the blockers, you know, you, the, the later they lock in on where the ball's going to be going, the tougher it is, obviously. That's right. Um, Audrey to serve here as Osio fighting back to tie things up at seven. That was a really good sharp cut her by, by her there. Uh, it was a tight set and she made the best out of it. And an overpass there. <laughs> Scramble, Jesuits basically got hit by the ball, but that'll, that's okay, it works. Joust at the net. Now Johnson will set it for Jesuits outside and hammers it down the line. That's the kind of point that you get excited about. We could hear their bench just roar as soon as it happened. Well, obviously, they, they, they were going to lose that point several times, and frankly, their setter made some great saves there just to contest the ball here and just to keep it alive. M. Long with the serve. Now Sealock pushing it over for the Orioles. Jesuits will get a swing, and she converts. As you can see, she's matched up against their, their setter again, Furman, on, the, on that side here. They're going to keep going, pounding that side here when Jesuits is up because that gives them a huge size mismatch. Emlong way deep with that serve, so Osio back to within one as Rossing gets set to serve. Well, might have been headed out, but Jesuits heard the call late. Seelock rolling it over, and the block was on the way down and caught some hands there, and it falls in. Again, did a nice job of just kind of ad-libbing there. She wasn't, the timing wasn't perfect. She just took something off, used the hands there, a little row shot. And Rossing not close with that one. Every time they've had a chance to take the lead, they can't quite get over the hump. Yeah, it's been that service bugaboo for him. Olivia Johnson to serve here for Wyzetta. Audrey, a down ball there, oh, off the ceiling, and they stay with it. Jesuits just hitting the corner with that one. Well, oh, maybe not. Nope, ball is out. I think the R1 overruled that line judge there and called it out there. Um, I know when it first was called, uh, Libero couldn't believe it either as well. Yeah, it was out. I, uh, yeah, with the naked eye from up here, I thought it was out the first time too. And I think a good overrule there. Sometimes it, you're worried about an MI in the way and you kind of just take your eye off it just a touch. Right. And Jesowitz converts from the right side here for the Trojans as they go back in front by one. We've been trading points throughout this second set. That's too tough. Right now they had, in that last rotation, they had Helmick on the left side and Jesowitz on the right side. It's hard for Osio to figure out who they want to really defend there. And then it basically comes down to a guessing game. And 
their odds are certainly stacked against them. Achenbach sending it over off the block. And Wyzetta would like to have that one to do again as they looked like it was a ball they probably should have been able to get to. That's right. You know, it's just one of those unfortunate bounces. Good job by the line judge Robin there to call it on the down ball there and recognize that was not a pancake. Long with a swing. Quan trying to dig it up. It's off the ceiling and they recover. Johnson coming to Helmick, and Quan cannot dig it up. Wyzetta, again, they keep on going back and forth. Trojans always go ahead. Asia ties it up. You know, Helmick's such a good hitter, but you definitely can't leave her alone with just one blocker like you did in that situation. It, you're, you're basically you know, at her mercy then. Uh, they need to make sure they get a couple blocks on that just to give them a chance. Here's Achenbach with a big swing for Osseo, and they tie it at 12. And I'm glad to see Achenbach settle down a little bit. I think the last three swings she's had has resulted in kills here after that kind of that slow start here. And uh, she's definitely going to be someone that they need to have success tonight in order to give them a chance. Johnson will come to Helmick. Good recovery by Furman to dig it up. And then put away as Osseo, as Ogery, able to score it, and finally they take the lead. Osseo did a much better job of containing Helmick on that first ball by at least getting two blockers and getting a touch and allowing their defense to set up and then allowing the result in that, in that kill there. All you need is a touch on Helmick just to give your back row a chance. Johnson to M. Long and got rid of it quick before the block could penetrate the net there and it kind of got tangled up in their arms. Yeah. Wasn't able to fully press across that net, result of that ball coming over on that block and then result in that, uh, that lift call when they tried to salvage it out of that net. Helmick the serve, trying to give Wyzetta the lead back here. Cross court, Anderson playing a ball that would have been close to being out. And let's see, we're going to have a net violation against Osseo. Wyzetta was kind of lucky there as Long was not in a great position and just had to swing, swat that ball over. Well, again, I actually thought the net call was going to be against Wyzetta on her follow-through swing. I, I was a little surprised they called that net on Osseo there. Good job by Furman. It wasn't a real easy ball to handle there, but she did a nice job of putting it in a spot where it was uh, something that they could work with, and Rossing did. Yeah, great job by Furman. I would say it was a very tight pass, but also for Rossing to continue to on that play, you know, trusting that her setter can make something out of it, you know. Well, double contact call there on that set. You know, that was caused by a very tight pass there. I think it just kind of makes things uncomfortable for the setter there. You know, you're not quite right. And uh, good call by the, uh, by the up ref there. Bauer the serve here with Osseo up by a point. Vaughn digging that one. And a misfire by Audrey. She's been pretty solid, but that time he took her eye off it a little bit and into the tape. I'd be interested to see if Wyzetta changes up their attack uh, location a little bit. They've been going sharp cut to Quan, and she's had quite a bit, bit of success digging that ball. Let's see if she continues to go down that line or at least the middle, ba middle back here and try to pick on someone else. Sees with the serve. Now Johnson coming to Emlong and does a nice job getting her shoulders turned to put that ball in play. She sure did. It was good recognition by Johnson to see that she only had one, going to have one blocker on this slide and choosing the set out there. As you can see, the middle on the Osseo got faked out and went the opposite way, leaving her hitter with just one blocker. Punched over here, a chance for the Trojans. Oops, Emlong had to roam for that one. And then a mix-up, Furman and Rossing not on the same page there on that set. Well, that pass took Furman away a little bit here, and Furman, or, or Rossing didn't make the adjustment and uh, was a little early on that set here. Time out with Wyzetta leading at 17-15. 
this is the game we thought we were going to get here, and uh, it, you know it's tr they're trading blows back and forth here, and uh, you know Osil certainly isn't out of this here, but just by being done by about down by two here, and uh, I expect them to continue fighting here and continue to make it a really tight game. Scott Jackson has kind of seen it all. He's had some really talented teams over the years, and last year they were young and. And I, I said, you know, I got the feeling, Scott, that, you know, there wasn't any panic or anything. He knew that eventually they were going to be okay. But let's face it, there's a little pressure in a school like YZ. I mean, it's the largest high school in the state. They win at almost every sport. It can get uncomfortable if you're not having a great year, but it seemed like they just kind of stayed the course and, and uh, you know, kept working with it and getting ready for this year. Well, that's exactly right. He, he knew that, uh, you know, trust that process. He's a great evaluator of talent. He knew back then, I got to play these young kids at that time. We're investing that future. The, the skill level wasn't what they're accustomed to, but it's paying off this year. Ogery getting it done out of the timeout for Osio. They're back to within one. Johnson has to run a long way for that ball. Nice dig to keep it alive, and now Quan will get it over. M1 smokes it. Again, one of those one-on-one -on -one situations, and both sides, if you get one-on-one, -on -one, you're gonna, these girls are too good. They're gonna finish that play here. The middle looks like she's just guessing right there and didn't follow her, her the, the middle hitter across the net there. Berman to Rossing, denied by Jesuits. And Wyzetta, a little momentum going now. They're up three. That time, Jesuits was actually in a one-on-one -on -one situation, was able to convert that block, though. Great press, great hands, and, and anticipation. Sealock. Had it blocked. Into the middle and put away by Empty. They came quick with it. It wasn't necessarily super smooth, but Osio just wasn't ready. Yeah, everything seems a little bit discombobulated back then. And actually, I think that also kind of took Osio out of their, their, their comfort zone as well there, too. Good time out here by Coach Mandy. Um, you know, I, I think they got one point out of that last time out, but, you know, the momentum's continued with Wyzetta here, and uh, she's going to try to draw a play up. They need a good pass, first of all. I think that's what's ha hurt them the last several points here. They haven't been able to get in system here with that first contact here. Um, hopefully they, they can pass this ball here, and, and, and I would anticipate they're going to go back to the left side here where they've had some success. Boy, it sounds so simple, but really the majority of the points tonight, that's kind of been the case. If they don't handle that serve well, it's, it's tough to, to win the point. As I tell my players, you know, it doesn't matter how well you can hit or how well you can set. If you can't pass, right? You can't set, you can't hit. So passing, passing, passing. And, uh, you know, you're seeing it right now. YZ is passing better than Osseo, and, and the results are, are showing here. Wazetta just seems like they got a little more pep in their step as well right now. Osseo seems like they're a little down. They fought so hard to get back in the game here, and we'll see if that zaps their energy here. Juan, an overpass there. Jesuits knocking it off the Oriole and out, 21-16. A little unfortunate for me. She made a nice play, knowing that, recognized that it was going to be an overpass, and the Jesuits are probably going to go up and block that ball. She countered with that block and just went out there. Just a little different, just the wrong angle. Furman to Rossing, and she's able to put it away. Osseo really needed that one. They sure did. It was set up by a really nice uh, pass by Taylor Kwan there. Emily Rossing to serve here for the Orioles, trailing by four points and trailing one set to none as well. Oh, and that one will sneak over. Maybe that's an omen for the Orioles. <laughs> Maybe that's what they need here. They've had, they've missed some serves at key times tonight, and uh, that I one, thought that was going to be another one. Exactly. Tough serve there. Oh. 
I think that seemed like the right call when I saw it. Seaster kind of interfered before and didn't allow the setter to make a play on that ball. I think she was just a little too anxious on that ball here. So Izetta getting a break or Osio creating a break for them by being a little over eager. Right. Seelock goes deep middle with that one and Osio still fighting. They're down three. They're still fighting again. Nice swing by Seelock to get it away from that block and hitting between the one and the six zone. Kind of the, between the right back and, and middle back position there. Furman to serve. Helmick off the block. Johnson will come across with the Jesuits. Now Seelock pushing it deep. Ooh, a nice dig. And Jesuits will get it over, but Osio a great chance to score here. Oh, went up the center dump, but didn't get it over. You know, that ball was traveling across that net, and I thought, God, you haven't, she hasn't had a center dump yet, and I'm sure enough, she tried it. Good idea. However, I think Wyzetta was actually pinched in. I don't think that center dump would have been successful anyway, but good idea. Tough situation to try it, though. And an ace for Jesuits. And Wyzetta on the verge of going up two sets here. 24-19 Trojans. Very uncharacteristic by Quan there on that serve receive. Sila drops it just over the block. So she's had about three of those types of kills where just a little bit of off-speed row shot there. You know, that's, just, that's on her. She recognizes the situation and makes that nice adjustment there. Seelock a serving error, so both of the first two sets end the same way with serving errors by Osio, and both scores are the same as well. Wyzetta going up 2-0 now as they win this second set by a score of 25-20. to Pretty different than the way they develop, but they end up the same. So the Trojans now up 2-0. We will have set number three coming up here from Champlain Park High School in just a moment on CCX. Local Vote 2018 focuses on the candidates that make key decisions close to home. As you decide how to vote for people who will represent you on your city council, on your school board, and in the state legislature, hear from the candidates themselves first. Whether it's a candidate statement on CCX News, local political forum, or election night coverage, you can find it all on CCX Media and ccxmedia.org. Leah, did you put a new dent in that? This one? No. Were you texting and driving again? Yes. Hi, Leah. Hi, Dad. Sorry about your bumper. <laughs> <laughs> what makes your community feel like home? Is it knowing what's happening in your neighborhood or when people know your name? Connections make us a community. For more than 30 years, Northwest Community Television has connected citizens, neighbors, even sports fans through video. As life gets busier than ever, we will still offer you a connected community experience through CCX Media so you can stay connected to the place you call home. games here at Champlain Park as we get set for our third set. Wyzetta going up two to nothing. Those Osseo fans that we were just seeing there, they haven't given up yet, obviously. They're having fun out here, but uh, 
And obviously we've still got a long way to go, but uh, the, the trend is looking better for Wyzetta than for Osseo based on the way those first two sets went. It sure is. And, you know, Osseo fights, has fought hard and to get themselves a chance. And then when it comes, when it gets tight, they seem to get, you know, they, they, they seem to kind of lose it a little bit here, making some unforced errors, making that poor decisions, um, and not relying on what got them there. And, uh, and you know, on paper, I think is kind of more inexperienced team, the younger team. Um, and and, and Osseo is the, the, the older team. Frankly, by the way they're playing, Wyzetta seems to be the more experienced and more mature team right now, making less errors. But as we've seen many times over the years, sometimes the switch flips and all of a sudden everything looks different than it did early. And that's what Osseo has to be hoping now. You have to just kind of play it a point at a time. Though. You, you know, you can't win a set immediately. You can't, you know, get back into it immediately, but you just got to concentrate on each point. This game is far from done. Osseo's not going to go without a fight. I know that I mean, this year, we, my team at Benil, we, we were down two sets in 24-18 or 19 on the game and came back and won and won the match. And so absolutely, until that last whistle blows, everyone's got a chance here. So, And if you're Wyzetta, you have to be thinking, keep your foot on the gas every bit as much as you have been. You can't relax at all with this lead. Absolutely. You've got to stay aggressive. You can't get passive. and. And they started out in style as Caitlin Emke gets the kill up the middle. And that's one thing they've done in each of these first is kind of, you know, taking those early points. That's right. They've gone out to a fast start in both sets there. And so Furman a long run to get it. Achenbach will send it over short. Here's Helmet straight down with that one. This is why Zeta's best rotation because it features Hel Helmick on the right side and Jesuits on the on the left side. So as a defense, you're de you're, you're having to defend and or to guess as to who it's going. And Helmick just took advantage of that right there. Furman to Steister and she scores it for the Orioles as they get on the board. You're, you're Osseo, you're thinking, gosh, th thank goodness, because that means the next time uh, Wyzetta rotates, uh, you know, helmet go, or one of them goes down. I think it's Jesuits goes down, so now it's just one less hitter up there. But And an ace by Sealock, and Sealock, probably one of the emotional leaders of this team, I think. She's she's fired up, she's feisty, and uh, pulls her team within or to two to two. And a collision on serve received there for Wyzetta. Berman will come to the outside, and there's Achenbach delivering, and the Osseo fans are thinking, now this is more like it, what, we, what we've seen all season. That was a nice job off that free ball, converting, you know, great free ball pass, and then Achenbach just finishing that point. Jesuits, a big swing. Seelock, a good effort, but couldn't dig it up. Three to three. This is when it gets fun to watch. I mean, it's, their train blows back and forth here, and, they're, and they're, everyone's just taking as hard of a swing as they can here. And that overpass put away. A strong serve led to that. I thought that may have resulted in a net when she came through on that attack, but it uh, looks like it was clean here. At least there was no call on it. I was wondering that, too, if it was her hand or the ball that might have made the net wiggle there but nice job by Achenbach boy a real severe angle to cut that one off the block such a smart play by Achenbach she knew that set with pushed her way past the antenna and the only shot she had was a sharp cut and to be able to use utilize off that middle blocker's hands there smart play that would have been a tough ball to keep in play so hitting <laughs> the blocker actually was was to her benefit that's correct Tough pass there, and then put away by Achenbach. She wasn't going to wait and see if that one got over or not. No, nope. uh, nice anticipation, recognized that that uh, potential overpass situation, stayed home for it. Johnson, a tough ball to handle, and a block for Osio. Come back the other way to Helmet, block, but just out. Again, credit Johnson, by the way, for saving that with that one-hand set there, uh, um, two previous uh, attempts uh, there, and uh, keeping it alive. That was a really tight pass that she saved out of that net. 
Boyasio thought they had done everything right there, <laughs> up for the block, timed it perfect, but yep. just lands out. <laughs> Furman to Rossing. You know, anything that Johnson could do, Furman could do too. She had another night nice tight pass again, sit, was able to save that and center middle, convert that kill. Bauer to serve here for Osio. And Helmut firing away from the right side. So Helmick will serve. Nice block there, but Bauer coverage behind it. And put away there by Kate Long. Again, it's one of those plays where the Osseo's middle hitter was late to that ball here, just leaving a one-on-one -on -one situation for that right left side hitter to convert, and she hit, finds that gap and hits it right to the middle here of the court where that middle hitter uh, blocker would have been. Ogery had it blocked. They've come to Rossing this time. And a great dig by Kwan and keeps it alive. Wow, I was ready to concede that point. Wow. And then a misfire by Emlong, and Osseo will see if that one can get them going. I think most of the players thought the play was done. Absolutely, that was just pure determination, and that resulted in a positive outcome there for Osseo. Great dig by Kwan, just to keep it alive. You just give your team a chance in defense, you know, you can win. Emlong, a rare miss hit on the last one, not this time. She's been solid. Boy, the, the other thing, besides Wyzetta, you know, having different players they can go to, they all seem so confident hitting the ball, too. They, they do. Everything they do, they, every swing they're taking is a hard, aggressive swing here. And, you know, credit to Johnson. She's putting the ball right where it needs to be so they could take these full swings here. Good serve by Seas. Ogery had to fight it off. Helmick rolling that one over as they got a little tangle up in the middle. Now Seelock has to go with the left hand. And Wyzetta slow to react on a strange looking ball. Sometimes I, those can be tough. I thought Wyzetta caught a break there because their middle uh, blocker went the other way and leaving, uh, leaving the left side hitter just one on one. And, and, and then she's tapping it, she's tapped it over instead of taking a swing. Back for Emlong, but good positioning this time by Rossing to dig it up. And Emlong will get this one down. Good effort again, but Rossing couldn't quite get their hand underneath that one, so the Trojans in front, 9-8. You know, Selix tried, tried to do some row shots. I'd like to see her take some full aggressive swings here. Had one there, but blocked. Steester able to tip that one over. Just a smart uh, play by Seaster there. She recognized that that right, left front side was open here and used, utilized off that block here. Achenbach just entered the game here, and she's had success now the last five or six swings that she's taken. I'd look for her uh, Osseo here to keep going back to her and see if she can continue her, uh, her success here. Tough ball to handle there. Jesuits a swing from off the net. And right on cue, you should be a coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think she's figured some things out. Things have settled down for her, and that was a credit to Taylor Kwan for making a great platform set there as well, too, and recognizing the mismatch she's got. Jesuits will have to send it over. Just missed that curtain hanging over the middle. And denied there. Good block in the middle of Steester. Had it sent back. Yeah, I, I, well, I said it a nice job anticipating there and just shutting it down in the middle there. Johnson serving. We are tied at 10 in the third set and a misfire there. Here's Seelock serving. 
Osio able to recover, and then that ball nearly dropped. Helmick has to scramble to get it over. Nice block by Jesuits. Now Audrey putting in the middle. Sophie Jesuits, a swing Sealock fighting it off. And then put away by Achenbach. You know, the other thing Achenbach's giving them right now, she's giving a big presence against their left side attackers here. She's getting touches, may, may not result in blocks, but she's getting touches and allowing that back row to, to, to pass that, dig that ball here. Furman to Audrey, had it blocked. Empty getting most of that one, I think, for the Trojans, and they're back within one. That's a tall wall that she's got to hit. She's got to find a different way here. Maybe a little high, deep corner shot because she's, she tries to hit it through him. She's not going to have, have success there. Oops, substitution for Wyzetta. As Long will come back in and Tatum Rubald checking out. Jesowitz to serve, her team down by a point, but up two sets to none. Johnson will come to Long and denied. Steester with the block for Osio. They're up by two again. Great little wall between Akabai and Seester there and uh, making it difficult for uh, uh, the left side hitter to convert there. Aarons will serve here for the Orioles, leading it by two points. Been more consistent, I think, here in this third set. To Helmick, and she puts it away. You know, when things are going bad for you, just set to Helmick. She'll, she'll reverse it for you. And uh, she's just such a smart player. Doesn't make a lot of errors here. Boy, Johnson does a nice job, too, of kind of reversing the flow of a play where the blockers are just that little hesitation of where's the ball going to go. She does. She, she hides it well, and, and it's very deceptive. Lock and lock. Oh. Anderson fought that one off as it came strong at her. And this time Achenbach will convert. Yeah. Furman's no dummy. She knows who's the hot player right now. She's going to keep going to Achenbach. And unfortunately for Osio, she's got to come out of the ro rotation now. She heads down to the back row. But uh, that was a really nice rotation by Achenbach here, getting them probably four or five, at least five points that I can count up here. Bauer to serve here for Osio, leading it by two. Helmick off the block, Sealock, a great effort. Joust, and it's going to be a net violation against Osio. Score the point for Wyzetta. Started with a tight dig. Setter did what she could. It was a tight set, and um, Middle just couldn't convert on that and couldn't stop herself after that contact. Furman to Audrey, the block, but it goes wide, and Osio back to a two-point lead. <laughs> Tough serve there, just so it's just barely getting to it. Seelock sending it over. Here's Helmick, and Kwan's big attempt goes off the ceiling. So even when she's not in the front row, they're going to find out where Helmick is here, and she's going to be just as lethal in the back row as the front row here. Great swing there. Um, I thought Asia was going to catch a break when it hits that, the rafters there, but uh, it just deflected a little too quickly. C's coming back in to serve here for the Trojans. She's been effective in that role tonight. And Rossing, though, pounds it home as the Orioles don't let Wyzetta. One thing they've done better in this set, too, is just not letting Wyzetta get in any momentum. There's not right. been streaks of points. There haven't been these long runs here on them. And uh, that was a nice job by Rossing going away from that block. She knew that the blocks were on her, her, her middle and the left side there. She went away and back to the right, right, right corner. Jesuits. Good recovery by the Orioles. Now Sealock will send it over. Back for Jesuits again. 
Seelock has it blocked, and that one will drop in. And Osteo finding Wyzetta, just a, a good, solid blocking team. They're, they're ready and in position. Yeah, just a little bit of miscommunication there in the back row on that dig. I think Audrey and Rossing, uh, either of them could have gotten that ball, and they thought the other person was going to get it. Floater there, handled. Here's Seelock, and then it's an overpass. Osseo, Steister wipes that one off the block as they were up late just when I talked about how Wyzetta seemed to always be in position. That time a little late. Yep. Here we go. We've got Achenbach back in that game. Let's see how much they go back to her and see if they have to continue to have that success. Furman serving. And a free ball there, and Jesuit's eyes lit up on that one. I think Achenbach got a little excited, too, when she had that free ball ball, and she just, had, just a little overpass. She knew that if she made a good pass, she was probably going to get that ball. She didn't, though. Olivia Johnson with the serve. And Steester able to wipe it off the block. That's a tough little play, because it wasn't really perfectly timed here and uh, fairly low. Uh, she was able to use, utilize that, that blocker, though, on the blocker's hands. And a serving error by Seelock, and Rizetta back to within a point, and Jesuits will serve. You know, not only that that miss serve hurts, but you're not able to utilize uh, half a rotation with Achenbach up in the front here, who's been helping you here. So, Jesuits returns the favor though, just a little bit long, and so Osio's lead is two. Boy, we, it's interesting how we've just continued to bounce back and forth. Osio's lead, I don't think, has ever been bigger than two, but they've continuously maintained it. That's right. It, 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 they're not panicking, but yet they're not pulling away here. The helmet, and that will score. Right before that point, I was just going to say, watch for the helmet here. She's kind of their momentum stopper, you know, the anti-momentum stopper here. So uh, just a smart recognition by Johnson, just going back to that person that, uh, that's going to get in that point. Izzy Anderson to serve. Audrey sending it over. Johnson will come back to Helmick. Whoops, that time sprayed it too long. 20 to 18 Orioles. Bauer getting set to serve here, so Osio hitting that 20 mark. Long firing away. Seelock digging it up. Jesuits. <laughs> Man, not quite on that one. So 21-18. Couple great digs on both teams there. Oh, I'm one sorry, by 20 to 19. I see Lock and then Jesuits to pick up that ball and convert. <laughs> Audrey fires at home, and so Asio now has 21. So right now, Wyzetta's got their two uh, main go-to uh, front row players in the back row. Let's see if Oz can take advantage of this right now and make a big run for him here to finish out this game. So I think that was a premature serve there, wasn't there? I don't think I heard a whistle for the, call, for the serve. Right. Now they get to go ahead. Johnson DeLong had it denied. Tried to come the other way and just had to scramble to get it over. Rossing, and that one will be good for a point, and it's starting to look like Osio is in command a little bit. 22-19 Orioles. Yeah, if you're Osio right now, you're hoping to score as many points as possible and even close out this set because they've got both Jesuits and Helmick in the back row here. Well, Helmick's been able to do some damage in the back row, she's, you know, she's definitely not going to hurt him as, as often in the back row she is, has been in the front row here. 
How much do you talk about that in a huddle with your team? You know, do you, do you talk specifics about like, okay, we got to make hay when their best players back. Absolutely. You know, you know, ball ball, if you be successful, it's a game of mismatches, and you have to try to find where the mismatches are, and you have to try to exploit them. In this situation, obviously, Osio has the advantage knowing that their two best hitters are in the back row here. They've got to make sure they, they keep it clean and execute now to take advantage of it while their two stud hitters are in the back row. They know that next next rotation, Jesuit's going to come up to the front row, and she's probably going to get uh, a majority of that set. And you know they've had a tough time container tonight as well too. I think another thing that's helped Osio is they've figured some, some things out serve-wise, both location and who they're serving at. They've put Wyzetta back on their heels on a lot more balls in this third set than they had been able to earlier. That's right. They've kind of turned the tables a little bit on them here. There's Emlong converting. She doesn't get a ton of swings, but most of them seem to result in points. Oh, but I think that was a nice play call. I presume that Scott called that out of that timeout there and that, you know, off a good pass, we're going to run this slide here. And uh, really nice play call. Sees to serve. Seelock off the block for a kill, and she is jacked up. 23-20 Orioles. Well, the Orioles definitely feed off of her energy and her enthusiasm there. You saw a little bit of that after that point there. Johnson, a tough ball to handle, got it over. And they'll go again with the setter dump, and that one was more by necessity, but she'll score the point. Smart, smart, alert play here. Lily Emlong to serve. Johnson giving it to Jesuits. Oops, off the antenna. Point for the Orioles. Was that had them exactly where they wanted to? That's, that, that, that set looked like it was a little wide there and uh, caused Jesuits to hit that antenna on her attempt there. Furman to serve for Osseo. A chance for them to take a set here. They're down two sets to none, but the momentum going Osseo's way right now. And it's going to be an ace to close it out. So Osseo will win the third set 25 21. Any thoughts of an easy night for Wyzetta? are gone now so we will go to our fourth set osseo right back in it as they win the third 25 21 set four coming up next here on ccx i try to keep up with what these young people is is doing and knowing i was at work and i was i just got a text from a number that i didn't know i sent him a text he texts me back and say who this <laughs> and I just thought that was the funniest thing. The next few weeks, she just made fun of me, like would answer the door and say, who dis? Who dis? Drop off a warm meal and get more than you expect. Volunteer at americaletsdolunch.org. America, let's do lunch. What if you could invest in the future? The future of kids, like a stock. Not the kind of stock that's about making money, but a stock for social change. A whole new kind of investment called Better Futures. When you invest, it helps kids go to college. Believe in us. Invest in us. Watch us grow. My name is Sydney, and I'm your dividend. I've been delivering Meals on Wheels to Leon for 13 years. It's always a pleasure to see you. Leon has definitely inspired me to put more into my relationships. He really cared for his wife, who was ailing for quite a while, in such a touching way that inspired me to be a better person. Drop off a warm meal and get more than you expect. Volunteer at americaletsdolunch.org. America, America, let's do lunch. Queen is just my everything. His smile did it. His smile, his eyes, his knowledge. My landlord, he decided that he wanted me to move based on the fact that I was transgender.
let's just respect people in everyday life for just being human. Human bowling here at Champlin Park. Osseo coming back strong in the third set. They win it to force a fourth after Wyzetta had uh, kind of well, kind of had their number in those first couple sets. And as you said, Vong, it they just kind of created some of their own breaks. Some of the things that were you know seemed to be going Wyzetta's way didn't in that third set. Yeah, and I also think Osseo figured some things out. They figured out who their mismatches are. Akebach had a couple really good. A rotations where they realize that the, hey that's a big mismatch for him and you know and she started selling down and then won some big points and also defensively she stuffed she stuffed some balls as well too um so i think they figured out it wasn't necessarily that yz had made less of the, the more errors it was frankly also cleaned some things up as well too and made less errors and uh we're getting the kind of game we thought we we're gonna get here now i think something as basic as serving too improved quite a bit for osseo Whereas YZ has kind of stayed consistent throughout. You know, they've had a few miscues here and there where Osseo had some really big miscues on serves early well, where last set they were pretty solid. That's right. I mean, Furman, I think, missed, uh, missed out on that first set on her serve. She won that third set on a, t on a net ball or tape ball there. So Furman serving to begin our fourth. Jesuits will go with the tip this time and gets it done for YZ. Smart recognition by Jesuits. Everyone's pinned back here, thinking she's gonna she's gonna kill that ball here. Just a little bit of off-speed ball here, just to let him think about it here. I would anticipate YZ is gonna just give Helmick a big dose of, of sets here. Steester had that one blocked. Orioles able to run it down, and Audrey though cannot get it over. And that's one thing that's been consistent. We talked about last time that Wyzetta is getting the first points in every set. Yep. Although the difference in the third set, I think Osseo only gave him two points and was able to tie it back. The previous ones were like five points, I think. And, and this time it's only two again as yep. Jesuits misfires. Yep. Look for Wyzetta here to set uh, Helmick here in, the, in that right side here, you know, off of a good pass. Not a good pass, though. <laughs> and then they scramble to recover. Good job by Long to dig that one up. Kwan wow. to the middle, gets to it. Audrey off the block, a near collision. And Helmick misses cross court. They were really out of sorts there as they ran into each other and scrambling. What a great save by Kwan, just to keep that ball alive. As I tell my players, just get a hand on Who knows what's going to happen, you know? And Sealock airmails that one too long. Yeah, I think that's Sealock's third or fourth miss tonight, and pretty uncharacteristic. And uh, you know she's going to have to, you know, hopefully she can clean that up here. Anderson serving for Wyzetta. Ooh, Sealock had to hustle to get to that one. Johnson will come middle, and a look call there. Yeah, she kind of threw that ball almost, almost like a hook shot. Good call by, uh, by the uh, R1, Tim Harlow there. Three to three, our score in this fourth set. Aaron's with the serve. Across for Long and just missed. Osseo back up now, 4-3. Here's Helmick putting it away, much like you called for. On demand right there, huh? Need to stem that tide, you go to your ace right here. You know, Hel Helmick finished the season with 310 kills. That's, that's a one heck of a season by her. Helmick to serve. Seelock has to fling it over. Emlong way across court with that Furman. Got a little out of position there. Yep. 
kind of indecisive on how she was going to handle that one. It's a tough ball to handle, but yeah, it was a high ball. She, she initially was going to take it with her platform. That would have been too, you know, and then she decided at the last minute to try to take it with her hands. It was just too late. Audrey a swing there. Now a long rolling it deep. Achenbach goes line with that one and gets it done. You know, what I really like about Achenbach's game, she really reaches high for that ball. I mean, it's rarely that she's going to hit into a block because she just gets such high lift and high extension on this here. Great recognition, and she didn't have a big window to hit it through either. Bauer to serve for Osio, tied at five here in the fourth set. And Emlong had that one sent back. Totally different Osseo team than what we saw in the first couple of sets there, isn't it? I mean, just both offensively and defensively. They're recognizing their assignments a little better. They're putting more hands on the blocks here. Ooh, nearly an ace there. Anderson got to it, though. Rossing circling to the outside and scores it. Great job. I, I think what you said earlier is kind of true. It is, I'm not so sure it's so much that Wyzetta's playing a lot worse as that Osseo's playing a lot better than they were earlier. Yeah, they're just taking care of the ball a little better here. They're not so reckless with it, and they're, frankly, the hitting percentage have gone up quite a bit here. Juan getting to that one. Audrey looking cross court. And off the antenna, score the point for Osseo. Everything kind of rolling their way right now. Timeout, Wyzetta. You know, in that third, during that third set, I talked about Wyzetta having a little more pep in their step. Well, now the, the, now it's been reversed. Osseo seems like they've got a lot more energy. Wyzetta's wondering what the heck happened. We just lost a set. And now they're down early in the fourth set here. Um, Good timeout call by, by, by Coach Jan Scott here, and hopefully for Rizetta, you know, this, this allows him to turn the tide here. Come, come, I mean, he's probably setting up a play out of this timeout off a good pass here, and they can uh, convert off this ball, and hopefully they can build a little momentum again, swing the pendulum the other way. I think it's interesting, I suppose, because this sport, you can see everybody's face so easily that you can kind of see those mood changes and the, and the confidence changes probably more so than, you know, you're watching football or wearing a helmet and they're too far away and all that, but uh, you can you can see every little excitement and every little pain on the face of these players. Absolutely, especially when it comes to serve receive. If someone's messing up, you know, consistently or having a tough time serve receiving, their face could be dejected, their expressions. And of course, what's gonna happen, the next serve's gonna go right back to them because, you know, you gotta take advantage of that here. And so, you know, we try to tell the coach, you have to be stoic, you can't let that affect you. You have to, you know, otherwise the other teams are gonna take advantage of it here. Bauer serving out of the timeout. And it's a good, effective serve. Good scramble to get it back for Wyzetta, but Osio a great chance to score here. And Audrey will do it. 9-5 Orioles. Wasn't the serve received that they're hoping to get out of that timeout. Jesuits had a tough time handling that ball here. Wasn't allowed, didn't allow them to get in an offense here. Emlong had to reach backhand for it. Now Seelock will push it over. Long able to score it for Wyzetta, and they badly needed that one. They sure did. They sure did. You know, and Taylor Kwan again kept the play alive there, and I thought for sure they're going to take advantage of it again here. But good for Wyzetta for hanging in there and using that high hand off that attack ball there. Avery sees serving for the Trojans. Johnson will come to Jesuits. Block, but out. Point by Zeta. And again, now this is that this is that rotation where Jesuits has Furman out there as her blocker here. Um, I would expect them to come back out to Jesuits here, and Jesuits try to pound that line, take advantage of that height mismatch. Overpass there, but they'll get away with it. Johnson back to Jesuits, and that one is good as well. And you are exactly right. We're going to go to that matchup. 
I think Furman's what, 5'8", maybe? 5'9", Jesuit stands at about 6'2", 6'3". Has long arms. Audrey smokes it home for the Orioles as they stop the mini rally there for Wyzetta, and they lead by two. Definitely much needed there for Osseo, just if nothing else, just to get out of that rotation. Mindy Audrey the serve, but gives it right back to Wyzetta. M. Long serving. Rossing gets the kill there for the Orioles. She's had a couple, uh, probably the last three times she's run this slide, had some success. Nice job of waiting, waiting, and then coming, finding that gap between that bl the blockers there. Just too long there, and it's a point for the Orioles. Just a little long here, but I thought she actually converted it, but... Uh, And that one is out. So Olivia Johnson will serve her team trailing at 12-10. And Seelock able to score it there for the Orioles and they go back up by three. I'm impressed with how Osseo's staying composed. You know, um, you know, Wyzetta's gone on these many runs and they've stayed and stayed and stayed. You know, they give them a couple points, but yet they find a way to, to, to turn it back and then side out on them here. And if that doesn't show you everything's going Osseo's way, they get the block that crawls along the net and drops. You know, this block combination between Seaster and Akebach has been very good here. They put a big wall here, and they do a nice job of pressing. That time, Seaster got the solo block there. Helmick way too long with that one. And Osseo's lead is to five, and Wyzetta feeling the heat a little bit. Timeout, Scott Jackson. Yeah, as a coach, you don't necessarily want to burn your second timeout, your second and final timeout when the opponents only have 15, but I think it was a very well-timed uh, timeout here. I think he's just trying to find a different way, trying to change momentum a little bit, trying to do something different here. They've got a good rotation right now with Helmick and both Helmick and Jesuits up right now, so they've got options. They're just having a tough time right now with that first ball contact and that serve receive ball here. This is the difference between Wyzetta first and second set and Wyzetta now right now. They're having a tough time getting that serve receive. Doesn't seem like that long ago that Osseo was looking kind of grim coming out of the huddles and boy has that changed in a hurry and we said could easily happen and it has so yep. far. Yep. Let's see if they get a good pass here, who they, whether they go to Jesuits or, or, or uh, Helmick here out of this rotation. They'll, Helmick's gonna stay on the left side for at least one rotation here, at least until the ball goes over the other side here. They'll come to Jesuits and that one is good. And Wyzetta down by four now. Not the greatest pass, but you know, Johnson did a great job of re running down that ball and making a great set and allowing Jesuits to, to, to attack that ball here. Johnson comes middle, but they missed the sideline as empty. Not able to put it in play. You know, she had the matchup that she wanted there. It was just a matter of execution there. It was just a one block and, you know, just a little too far wide there. Juan digging that one out. Ooh. And double contact there. Again, I think that's the second time Selex tried to do that on a, on a third ball set here and uh, has, been called, has been called for a, a double contact here. 
Probably should have stayed with just a platform set here. Izzy Anderson the serve. Steister had that one denied as Emlong got up for the block. Well, Osio telegraphed that play there, and you can see Emlong was just camping out on that. They knew that they were going to go to Seister on that, and she didn't really have a, ch a chance here. Juan, an overpass there, and that one put away, and now it's Wyzetta with some momentum. They're back to within two. Timeout, Osio. Yep. And Coach Manny's telling him, it's okay, it's okay, calm down, it's okay. You know, Wyzetta did this too. They call time, they calm down, we can do the same here. Again, they just need to get that first ball here and, uh, and, and be able to run a play out of this here. Uh, Wyzetta's getting points off of these overpasses and these free balls that's coming over here. I think Osseo just needs to try to stem the tide here. The winner will face Champlin Park for the section title on Thursday night. Off a good pass, look for an Achenbach set here. Let's see what happens. That it defensively, you've got to kind of stack it on the left side. Again, Helmick's on the right side right now, and she, you know she's been their go-to here. So let's see if they make those adjustments. Anderson gets the go-ahead and puts it in play. Odry will get the kill for Osio. Good for her. Odry taking a big swing on that ball, hitting off those blockers there. Aaron serving now for the Orioles. And it's Emlong to put it away there for the Trojans. We kind of got in the same rhythm last in the third set. We're just trading points back and forth here. We seem like we're in that pattern again. Helmick the serve and she misses. This is what Wyzetta was not doing early in the match. We've had quite a few important service errors here down the stretch. Definitely a row reversal from what we're seeing here. Um. Bauer to serve here for Osio. Johnson sending it over, and they get it over. Ogery <laughs> will score it. Couple uh, really nice swings by Ogery last two, uh, two attempts here. Um, Coach Mandy wanted a lift call on that uh, kind of that out of system ball that Wyzetta did, but they, uh, credit the Os uh, for Osio for still staying in there and, and finishing that point. Put away by Long on the set from Johnson. Sees coming in to serve here for Wyzetta there, down by three. Rossing had it denied. And then too strong with that hit. She tried to go over that block, reaching high over that ball. Just got couldn't get I couldn't snap her wrist. And Audrey will get the kill there for the Orioles. She has been very effective.
Great dig by Bauer. Middle to Emron, and she will score it. It's like a heavyweight fight right now, right? Just trade blows here. They're going back and forth. Where we've had two three-point separation. And Emron with a serving error for the Trojans. Rossing to serve for Osio as they try and force a fifth set and looking good right now, up by three. Johnson cannot get to it. 22-18 Orioles. Nice aggressive serve to Jesuits here who had a tough time trying to handle that ball with her hands here. So they only to pass it with from a, at about chest level here and Johnson couldn't run it down. And the block there on the Orioles keep the momentum going. 23-18 Osseo. Tough serve, Helmut can't handle it, 24-18. Just a tough, tough serve by Rossing there. Going just a penetrating low serve here that they had a tough time handling here. And Rosetta has life as Rossing that time into the net, but a long road back for the Trojans. They're still down by five. You know, if you're Coach Mandy, you'll take that miss serve for all of the, the four or five points that she ran off here and a couple aces in between. They'll come to Sealock and wide with that one. You know what, Osio had the play they wanted there. It was just a little bit wide there. You know, I'm sure they're gonna go back to her again here. They will. Goes with the left hand this time. Now Jesuits tipping over the block. Osio scrambles and they get to it. Helmick off the block. The Trojans fighting back. They're down three. Yeah. Great little dig by Quan here to keep it going, but yet once you get a free ball, they're gonna go to their go-to here at Helmick there, and she finishes it. Sealock in the middle. Jesuit sending it over. Sealock has to reach for it, got it over. Johnson will come back to Jesuits with the tip. Steester pushing it deep, but Wyzetta's there. Off the block and then sent over and just too long and a hit by Steester. Yeah, and that one. Everybody holding their breath and all of a sudden it was too long and a timeout. It's 24-22. You know, Osseo's had a few chances. They've gotten pretty conservative there. They kind of tipped that ball instead of trying to take big aggressive swings there. And, and uh, I'd like to see him finish with this uh, hard aggressive ball. I think in the, they had a couple chances there to finish it, but they just kind of just sent it over and kind of either row shot or a tip ball here. That was a pretty grand opportunity for Seaster to finish. So there's just a little bit of a missed time where she's getting that ball on her way down, not able to finish with that snap here to get that, that top spin of that ball to come down here. Now the first two sets ended in serving errors by Osio. I'm sure coming out of this timeout, <laughs> they're thinking, I wouldn't mind if you saw that the other way. Not necessarily the way you want to win it, but you'll take it if and, it happens. And remember, the third set ended with a tape ball, right? A serve hit the tape and dropped down, so. Johnson gets it in play. Sealock off the block. Jesuits is there, though. Helmet, and they're able to return it. Outside for Helmick again, this time scores it, and it's now one point. Seeley had an opportunity to hit it hard there, and she ended up tipping that ball here. That's like the third time in a row she's had that opportunity. I'd like to see her take a big swing. Johnson, the serve is too long, and Osseo will take this fourth set. Trojans fought back, but it is Osseo hanging on to win 25-23. And we are going to go to a fifth set to decide this one.
Great action here tonight at Champlain Park. Two sets apiece, Sasio and Wyzetta, the fifth set is coming up. I already knew that I was gonna go to college, you know, from a young age. I definitely wanna major in political science. After that, I'm gonna get my law degree. Then I'm gonna come back to Detroit, boost the economy, become the mayor or something, try to make the situation better for other people. I feel like I owe it to the city. I'm determined, it's, it, it's gonna happen. My name is Justin, and I am your dividend. You think getting dumped by text is harsh? Try getting dumped by a tennis ball. My ex owner drove me out to the woods, yelled fetch, and by the time I bought the ball back, he was gone. Yeah, I was pissed. <laughs> But the folks at the shelter helped me let go of my anger. I learned coping skills, like taking it to the hole. Boom! Now I'm ready to fetch again. But how about I throw and you run and get it? I got some Oxy after I hurt my neck. First I took them to feel better. Then I just kept taking them. I didn't know they'd be this addictive. I didn't know how far I'd go to get more. Opioid dependence can happen after just five days. Know the truth, spread the truth. Look at you. You're at the top of your game. You're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. That will throw you off track. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? <laughs> B, console her? Don't worry, sweetie. This is gonna happen a lot. Or C, find her a new boyfriend. Nice single boys. <laughs> that was weird. As a parent, there are no perfect answers, but you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Welcome back to Champlain Park. Well, we're down to one set to decide this one. Fong called it before the match started. He said, we're gonna see five, and uh, it maybe didn't look like it for a little while there early. Well, Isetta kind of rolled in the first couple, but back come the Orioles, and now we'll see if that momentum carries over. It's funny, though, so many times in volleyball, it doesn't necessarily. Well, it's all even right now. You know, both teams recognize that their season hangs in the balance right now. It's the first of 15 points, you know, and you, all, you know, as a coach, you want to stress, let's get out to a fast start. Get to five points. It's a short game here. Get to five. Race to five here. Let's see who, get, who can get out faster. And it starts with an ace from Olivia Johnson. Yeah, you're, how much does that change the complexion of a set when it's to 15 instead of 25? Well, it, as a coach, for me, I actually adjust my lineups. I want to make sure I'm getting my best hitter's best lineup in right away because I don't have time to wait around for him to rotate up here. And Achenbach answering for Osio. It's one to one. They ran a new play there with Achenbach in the middle here. They left Seaster out there and Achenbach in the middle. Great set. Way to finish up by Achenbach here. Totally different player than what we saw in that first set by Achenbach. Seelock, the serve. Trojans fighting to get to it, and Helmick sends it over. And we had a net violation against Osio. Yeah, the R2 called the setter. Her foot, after she sat her foot, her right foot stepped over that line here. It was a late call, but it was the right call. I was kind of half questioning if I heard a whistle. I thought I did, and then as everybody was a little bit slow to kind of recognize. Oh, and that one will scrape over, and Jesowitz gets an ace. It's a big sequence there, back to back. That was a big sequence. Uh, you know, the first sets three and four for why is that? That would have gone over, you know. It's how 
Furman running it down. Ogiery off the block and good. Boy, she's continued to rack up points for Osseo all night. She has, and that time she didn't go to her power swing. She's kind of a little bit of an off-speed ball here off that off the hands of the blocker here. Just let it drop behind them. Aaron's in to serve. Osseo down 3-2. Johnson getting it to empty. That was not an easy ball to set. That was one heck of a save by Johnson there and allowing her to empty to finish that play here. That was, that was another tight ball that somehow she managed to get control of it and make a nice set. Anderson to serve. Furman will come back the other way to Achenbach, and she scores it off the block. There we go. Her bread and butter, uh, her bread and butter lately has been going down that line, and that's exactly what she did. She hit off the left hand of that left side blocker here. Maggie Bauer serving for the Orioles, 4-3. Here's Helmick, missed it long. Good play, they had exactly what they wanted, just couldn't finish that swing. Long looking cross court, Quan gets to it. And just out. Boy, Coach Manny wants a touch. When I saw it, it looked like it was in, but let's see here. It doesn't look like there's a touch. Whether it's in or out or not, I don't know, but it's, I'll trust the line judge, Robin. She's one of the best officials in the state. Johnson out to Emlong, and smokes it at the forehead of Sealock Air. 6-4, wise ever lead. Helmick serving her team up by two, a fifth set to decide our second finalist here in section five. Ogiery cross court, but missed. Again, a good idea, it was open there. Just a little too much of a cut there. I think she was a little indecisive when she went up as to what type of ball she was gonna hit, made the, the decision at the last second here. And just, just, a little out, just a little wide for her though. Yeah, you see, it's going to be a tough ball to get to for anybody on that. Clearly out. Yep. Yep. I know they have the setter up right now with uh, Audrey and Rossing. Let's look for a, 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 on a nice in-system ball, a run a little slide, mix it up here. Rossing had some success there earlier in sets three and four on that slide. Let's see if they go to it at this point here. It seems like YZ is stacking their blockers on that right side against Audrey. Let's see if they can go and find a one-on-one -on -one situation here. You have to give Wyzetta some credit too. They didn't panic when they, you know, started to see things slip away from them in these last couple sets. Yep. They, they've kept playing too, just like Osir had to do earlier. We talked about the moment, the moment, momentum, and the pendulum swing. And Wyzetta definitely seems to have a little more energy right now here and playing with a little more uh, want to. Audrey off the block, but. Dug up by Jesuits. Juan is there to cover that line and put away by Rossi. Well, they did go to Rossi, but this time it was in front of the setter, not on a slide ball here. Ogiri to serve her team down by two. Overpass there, joust at the net. Johnson will come back outside to Long, had it blocked. And another time with the block. Great job by Rossing. Great job by Rossing, not giving up and just anticipating it. You know, she could have easily gotten off that net and, and, and played like a free ball, but stayed up the net.
Tough ball there, and it's going to be out. Izetta was scrambling from the get-go there. Jesuits had a tough time with that service tape ball, which forced Helmick to make that set. You don't want her to be setting that second ball here. Another tough one. Johnson saving it, then it's blocked. Comes off a shoulder and over. And then Seelock's hit is good. It's 8-7 Orioles. Just a smart play. Sometimes it's not about how hard you hit it. It's just about location. She knew that that deep corner is wide open. She took something off of it and hit a high, hard topspin ball to that right, left back corner. Long had it blocked. And that violation, Wyzetta. Orioles by two, and they're rolling right now. Yep. Timeout, Wyzetta. I believe that's five points for him in a row right now. I think it was 7 4 out of that timeout there. And, uh, um, you know, they're winning it both offensively and defensively right now. They're getting a few blocks here to, and, uh, and then keep them kind of guessing. And flip in a hurry. It wasn't that long ago, Wyzetta was all smiles in the huddle. They had the, had the momentum in this fifth set, and now it's Asya who just kept playing, keep, kept fighting, and they are in front by two. There aren't a lot of sports where the, pen, where the emotional pendulum just swings so quickly and so suddenly. This is one of them here, and uh, you know, it's just a matter of a player or two here, and uh, you know, gives one team more confidence and uh, gets them digging, you know, allows them to dig out of the hole. I think the fact that you're not playing to a clock makes that even more emphasized, too, because obviously right. you have to get to 25 or to 15 in this case. That's right. Slotted over by Seelock. Another tough pass that Johnson couldn't do much with. You know, in this stretch run of six points here, Wyzetta's had a tough time on service team. They haven't been in system very often here. A lot of the balls are tight and pushing Johnson into that net here where she's not able to do as much. This time they get a better chance, and dug up though. Johnson will come to the outside for Emlon. Oops, Osio a little miscommunication there as that ball falls, and it's 10-8. And I think that was supposed to go to Quan there, I and mean, she usually takes that second ball when the setter can't take it there, and I think she just thought that number 10 was gonna take that ball. Seas will serve for Wyzetta. Rossing off the block, Anderson, good hands though. Middle to Rossing, and then knocked over. Nice play by Johnson, and then Emlong up quickly again. Boy, the value of having a setter yeah. who can do things like that. She's such a smart setter. She recognizes the setter, she recognizes what she can and can't do. Outside for Seelock, but denied as Olivia Johnson up with a single block, yeah. got it done. Just a great one-on-one -on -one competition there, and uh, Johnson won that battle there. And the collision sees her get an ace, and Wyzetta's back in front. How many twists and turns can we take here? <laughs> Berman will give it to Ross, and it's denied by Emron. Trojans by two. Trojans doing it with defense right now, recognizing that Ossie only has a two-hitter system right now with the setter up, and so now they're able to split their blockers here. And even when they don't have a, uh, two blockers up, like you saw with Johnson going one-on-one -on, -one on c -Lock, made a great block here. Right now, it doesn't look like Osio's got anyone that's a go-to person that can permeate this ball. Hitters are getting frustrated because they're getting blocked right now. They're getting chances, but they're not able to finish and permeate that ball. See right now, Coach uh, Burry in there is, I think, just trying to keep everybody pumped up more than anything. Yeah. You know, know that you're still in it. 
Yep, yep. And keep swinging. Keep, stay aggressive. You know, don't get flustered. Um, you know, the, we talked about all that last time out. Why Zeto's having problems with the servicing? Well, now it's Asu that's having that problem. And even Taylor Kwan had a ball that she normally does, you know, is able to convert here. And uh, um, just one pass is what I tell him. One pass is all we need to get out of this. Furman will come to sea lock. Wyzetta able to recover, but then put away. Served up nicely there for Rossing. Good job by Rossing and staying aggressive. I mean, she did just paint that line there, but you know, she didn't kind of just send it over in a free ball. She stayed aggressive and pounded that ball down for a kill. Big momentum there, big, big change. Rossing will serve with her team down one. Johnson to Emlong, and that one deflecting up into the crowd. 13-11, Wyzetta. Also needs to get out of this rotation, so Akenbach can come in in the next, next rotation here. She seems to be the only one go-to person that they've been had success with here. They need to get the side out. Seelock off the block, Johnson recovering. Now Jesuit sending it deep, but just a little too long. And Osio's back to within one. What a match here tonight. Oh, this is fantastic. Furman to serve for the Orioles. Furman will come right side for Achenbach. Ooh, that ball might have been going out. Anderson yep. played it. And it's blocked. Jesuits into the tape for even up 13. Yeah, I think once Achenbach comes in there, she's had Jesuits number a little bit the last couple of sets here. And I think that kind of affected Jesuits there. Orioles looking to take the lead back in a tremendous fifth set. Oh, and nearly had an ace out of it. Dumped over there. Outside for Seelock. Had that one blocked. Coming the other way for Achenbach. And that Ooh. one was blocked. And Lizetta up 14-13. Achenbach thought that that deflection was going to go out of bounds there. Olivia Johnson to the service line. Wyzetta, a chance to win it. Watch, watch for Akebach to run a ball in the middle here. Oh no, too long and not close. 14 all. Prior to that serve, Scott, Coach Scott Jackson was imploring his team, watch Akebach, watch Akebach. He thought that play was going to go right to her here. Sealock the serve. Jesuit hitting from the back, and it was good. 15-14, Wyzetta. Sophie Jesuit will serve for the Trojans. Tough time to leave a ball out there. Tipped over. Johnson will come outside with it. Jesuits, a good dig there. Johnson for Helmick. And there it is, Wyzetta will win it. About as close as you could be, and the Trojans pull it out in the fifth set, 16 to 14. Wow, what an amazing match here tonight. Very, very entertaining match. Very entertaining match, some great play. So the Trojans will advance on to take on Champlin Park in the section final over at Osseo on Thursday night. We'll take a break and come back and wrap things up here in a moment from Champlin Park. Wyzetta outlasting Osseo in five.
Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. Welcome back here to Champlin Park. Wyzetta outlasting Osseo. What a great match here tonight as the Trojans win it. 16-14 in that fifth set to prevail and move on to the championship. We're joined by a couple of Wyzetta players that helped to get it done, starting with setter Olivia Johnson. And wow, what a match here tonight. Is this about as exciting uh, of a match as you guys have been involved in? Yes, definitely. This has been such an exciting moment for us to go from a team that we had in a season that we had last year to then transform to this year. It's been so exciting. This match is just shows how much we can fight and win together. After the first couple sets, it kind of seemed like you guys were in control, but did you kind of have a feeling they might, you know, give you a pretty good shot and come back like that? Yeah, Scott definitely said that they were going to come back and fight in the third, which they did, and then we came back and fought again to come back and win, and we just never gave up to give us our best. Even that fifth set, I mean, it was back and forth. There was a little time when it looked like they were going to, you know, come maybe take it. There was a time when you guys surged ahead. You know, what, what was kind of the difference down the stretch, do you think? We just stayed calm and trusted our players. We had great defense. We served aggressively. We put up some great blocks and put in some aggressive swings that helped us win. So, Got a tough opponent Thursday night. That's no secret, but uh, what do you look forward to in that one? Just looking forward to the competitiveness and being able to play some great players and a great team and just giving them a run for their money, basically. Oh, Olivia, thanks for uh, giving us such a great uh, treat tonight and good luck on Thursday. Thank you, thank you. And Lily Emlong, uh, your team seemed to stay confident even when things weren't going so well. What do you attribute that to? Uh, definitely how hard we work in practice. Every day we come to practice, we give everything we have for one another. That's definitely part of the reason. And we said coming into tonight that we thought this one was pretty evenly matched and for a while though it looked like, you know, maybe it would be a shorter night, but uh, you know, what changed for them to get better and what changed for you guys at the end to, to pull it out? Um, Osseo really came at us aggressively and I don't think we were really expecting that, so that's why during the second and, or the third and fourth set we were really playing our A game, but after we figured out like, oh, we need to be aggressive too, we really put it back at them. Well, Olivia touched on it. Last year was kind of a tough year for the program, but What's made such a difference this year for your team to improve so much? Um, I think, honestly, just looking back at last year, not nobody on the team wanted a season like last year, so we all decided to give like 100% of everything we have and just make the season better. Got Thursday night, not too much time to prepare. You're facing a really good team, but what, what do you think your chances in that one? I think we have a very good shot at this. All right. Yes. All right, congratulations on this great win and uh, have fun Thursday. Thank you. Lily Emlong and Olivia Johnson, the Wyzetta Trojans, win a thriller here tonight in the Section 5 3A semifinals. They won the first two, Osseo got sets three and four, and then the Trojans pull it out 16 14 in the third. Hope you've enjoyed tonight's match and watch for the final live on CCX Sports as well as the Trojans take on Champlin Park on Thursday night. For Fong Long and all of our crew, MJ Wilcox, again your final, Wyzetta outlasting Osseo in five sets. Yes. <laughs>